Temper House is the greatest glass house in the world. And it wasn't until we started to refurbish it. It'd gone onto the buildings at risk register, so that meant that it was falling down, and because it's a grade one listed structure, it meant that Q had to do something about it. So Temper House for Q represents a really important time in our history of science and plant exploration. So going out into the rest of the world and discovering new species and bringing them back to Q to show and amaze the public. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> Back in 2012, the Temperate House was under a huge state of disrepair. We had scaffolding holding the building up. In fact, it was almost getting dangerous to go inside. The glass was all algaed up and misted. A lot of the windows weren't opening. They were all shut. The mechanisms were, were a bit worn out, so they weren't repaired. So now you can actually open them up again, which is great. And in fact, in the North Octagon, the whole of the frame there is made of timber and one of the main sort of structural members of that part of the building was rotted through. So this is like dry rot in the window, which we've got this all over. So this whole frame will have to replace. The biggest challenge, I think, was the way we had to take all the plants out, then do all the restoration and then put all the plants back in. Behind here, we've got one of the seven trees, which were actually remaining in the building throughout the build. So we've actually put all the scaffolding up around it. So if you just look inside in here, you'll be able to see one of the trees, which we've got all fully protected in its own little micro environment. We come in every day to check them and water them, but they're all linked back into a system which will monitor the temperature, the humidity. So where we are now, we're trying to put plants back in while we're still finishing off the construction works. The glass house that we're standing in now is called the TPG, the Temperate Propagation Glass House. Getting the plants ready to face the conditions that they will in the Temperate House. We've grown thousands and thousands. I've, I've lost track of how many we've grown. We've tried to cater to everyone's needs and likes. Scientifically, we're growing some of the world's rarest plants. Uh, I've got plants that are growing in the building that are extinct in the wild. I've tried to put in nice flowering plants just to wow the senses, scented plants. So as you walk through the doors, you get this whiff of really nice jasmines and roses. A lot of these plants have got data attached to them. We know where they came from in the wild. We started six years ago in the spring of 2012. We wrote on each plant what needed to be done. Taking cuttings, root pruning the plants, putting them into pots. We then started the nursery phase. Maintaining the plants that we'd lifted out of the ground, the cuttings that we'd already taken and rooted. And then the final phase was essentially putting everything back. Oh, he's got some good roots on him. He does. You're not going to be able to lift them up and move them again. You're looking at a plant that might be in the ground for, for 50 years. What's an extra 10 minutes? The Tempera House really is a museum of plants where people can come and interact with all of the various displays where we want to teach people about the various science work that Q does behind the scenes. When they first walk up and see the building, it's, ah, the building's beautiful. The second one, when they open the door and it's like, ah, it looks very nice inside. And the third, when they actually see individual items. If I can get three hours out of most of the visitors, I'll have done my job, I think.